The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 26th Chapter, Text Number 18, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 27th of December, 1974, in Bombay, India.
ಅಧ್ಯಾಂ ಸ್ವಾ ಪರಮಂಶ ಪರಿಪ್ರಾಜಗಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟರ ಸದಸ್ಯ ಮಾನ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪೌವಾಗೀಯ ಅನಂತಕೋಟಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಂದ ಕೀ ಜಯ ರಾಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಶಿಲ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕುರ್ ಜಯ ಪ್ರೀಂ ಚ ಕಹೋ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದೈತ ಗದಾಧಾ ಶಿವಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಗೌಭಕ್ತ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ ಸ್ವಾಮ್ ಕುಂಡ ರಾಧಾ ಕುಂಡ ಗಿರಿ ಗೋಧನ್ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಧಾಮ ಕೀ ಜಯ ನವದೀಪ ಧಾಮ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮೀದ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಸಮರ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಸಮರ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಸಮರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಬೈ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪೋಟೆನ್ಸೀಸ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಔಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂತ ಪುರುಷ ರೂಪೇಣ ಕಾಲ ರೂಪೇಣ ಜೋ ಬಹಿ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ತೇಷ ಸತ್ಯಾನ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆತ್ಮಮಾನ ಭಗವಾನ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೇ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ವೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿ ಹೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೈಟ್ just like in the material world we have got experience the whole system of the material world is going on under the heat and light the sun sign is diffusing unlimited quantity of heat and light and on this heat and light the whole material existence is there that is scientific estimate because the sunlight is there the heat and light is there the whole planetary system is rotating there is vegetation and varieties of food flowers varieties of manifestation this is heat and light similarly the example is given in the vishnu purana eko desha sthita sagne jyotsna vistari na jatha parasya brahmana shakti sarvedam akhilam jagat just like agni fire eko desha sthita is there in one place localized agni does not move but heat moves that you have got experience you have a big fire in one place the fire does not move but you can feel the existence of fire by heat and light similarly bhagwan does not move he has got immense power parash shakti vividhai vasyate he moves by his energy that is the difference between the mahabhar philosopher and vishnu philosopher vishnu philosopher says the bhagwan is staying in one place goloka eva nivasati akhilatma bhuto he is staying in the shastra we understand that krishna ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಪರಿತ್ಯ ನ ಪಾದಮೇಕ ಗತ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟೇಪ್ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಹಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಂಗೀತ ಸಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಗೋಲೋಕ ಇವ ನಿವಸತಿ ಅಖಿಲಾತ್ಮ ಭೂತ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಗೋಲೋಕ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ to move that is his inconceivable potence suppose i am sitting here suppose i have got to do something in my apartment so unless i go there that business cannot be performed this is my position but krishna although he does not leave even by step goloka vrindavan he is always enjoying in company simati radhani eh? anandamaya abhyasa 
His only business is ānanda, satchidānanda vigraha. But he has got so many other businesses, so many. He has to sarvasya chāhaṁ ridhisanya vishta, Krishna says, that I am situated in everyone's heart. And matta smiti jñāna mapohananca. And through me, the living entity is getting intelligence, remembrance, uh, to just see how much busy he is. Everyone's heart is śara paramatma, sarva bhūtānāṁ riddhese arjuna-tishtha. Ishara, the super-soul, it is said here, antar purusa rūpe, you know, the super-soul. And the Bhagavad-gītā also confirmed, sarvasya chāhaṁ ridhi He is situated in everyone's heart. In Upanishad also it is said that two birds are sitting in one tree. So one bird is eating the fruit and the other bird is simply observing as witness. Anuvanta, upadrashta in the Bhagavad-gītā. So just imagine there is no limit of the living entities. So anantāya kalpata. Anantāya means there is no numerical count, innumerable. Nitya nityana, nityana bahubachan, plural number. So there is no limit of these living entities. And still Krishna has to live within the heart of every living entity. Just see, and every living entity has different business, and he has to sanction and witness. There is a common saying, that not a blade of grass can move without the sanction of God. Actually, that is the fact. Huh? Everyone has got different propensities, and he cannot do it without the sanction of God. This is God's business. Just see. Ananda Koti, innumerable jiva, and he has to give sanction and see his business, and witness, also give the result, uh, his witness, and he has to give the result also, because he is doing independently. He must enjoy or suffer the activities that is going on. Karmana, daiva, netrena. He has to give different types of body. Uh, suppose I want to eat everything, never mind how much nonsense and nuisance it is. There are so many men, they eat everything. So he has to be offered the body of a pig. No discrimination, even stool accepted. So who is giving this body? Daiva netrena, by superior observation. Krishna is saying that this, this living entity wants a body so that he can eat anything up to stew. So he has to judge, he has to give karmana daivanitrena jantar deho gopati. So we are getting different types of body. Krishna does not give directly, but he is the Supreme Lord. He has nothing to do. Natasya kājyam karanancha vidyate. This is the basic information. He has nothing to do. Simply his order is sufficient. That is also confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Ishara Sarvabhutanam Riddhese Arjuna Tishthati Brahmayam Sarvabhutani Jantra Rurhani Maya. So Krishna orders only Maya that give this living entity a body like a demigod or a dog or a pig or a tree. So there are eight million four hundred thousand varieties of body. He has to manage all this. How is managed? Is he managing personally? No. He's managing through his potency. Atamaya. Here he say, Atamaya. Samanteti Isha Satyana Bhagavan Atmamaya. Maya means energy. Energy. Tricks. 
This is called Maya. So everything is being done by his potency. So the Mayabadi philosopher they says, when Bhagavan is everywhere, his action is visible in every step, every atom, everywhere. Where is the original form of Bhagavan? Everything is Bhagavan. There is called Nidvisheshvadi, Nirakarvati. Bhagavan has no akha. He is finished because he is everywhere. Therefore, there cannot be any particular form of God. This is Nidvisheshvadi. That is material concept. Just like if you take something and make into pieces and throw it everywhere, the original form of that particular thing is finished. This is material conception. But spiritual conception is different. Spiritual conception is stated in the Vedas, Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Abhishishyati. Krishna is Purna, and He has expanded Himself in so many ways, so many potencies, so many forms, but He is still His Krishna. That is Krishna. You cannot think that because Krishna is expanded in so many forms and so many ways, therefore He is finished. There is no more Krishna. This form of Krishna is Maya. No. That is Krishna. The Krishna can expand himself. Advaiti achyuti anadi ananta rupam. Ananta rupam. You cannot count him. We are also forms of Krishna. Vivindansa. Everything is Krishna's form. The pantheism, they take it that Krishna, everything is Krishna's form, then where is Krishna? No. Krishna is still Krishna. Addaiti achyati anadi ananta rupam adhyang purana purusam. Navajau vananta. This is still adhyam. Purusam adhyam govindam adi purusam tamaham bhajami. He still remains adi. So how he has expanded? That is stated here. Bhagavan atma mahaya. By his internal potency. Bhagavan Atma Maya. Prasa Shakti Vividhai Vasthyate. The example is given that the sun is localized in one place, but he is managing the whole universal affair by his heat and light. That is potency. That does not mean for time immemorial, sun is supplying unlimited quantity of heat and light all over the universe, day and night. There is no stoppage. It is not that sun's heat and light has been stopped because it is night for us, but his heat and light is being distributed, being distributed. But still, the sun has diminished by a small quantity. If it is possible, even for the material thing, Sun is nothing but an insignificant material thing. There are millions of suns, millions and trillions of suns. That is admitted even by modern science. So this sun is only an insignificant portion of the sun category. This universe is the smallest. There are many big, big universes. And each and every universe there is sun, there is moon, there is other things. And all these universes combined together is one-fourth energy of Krishna. Ekāṁśa inasthitu jagat. When Arjuna wanted to know about Krishna's potencies, vibhūti, he says in so many ways, then at last he summarized, atvābahu naitena kīngyatena tavārjuna viṣṭabha aham idam kṛṣṇam ekāṁśa inasthitu jagat. You just try to understand my potency in this way, that the whole material creation, cosmic manifestation, innumerable universes. What are these universes? 
जशय को निश्चित काल मथावलंब जीवंती लोम विलजा जगदन्न नाथा नीच एंड एवरी यूनिवर्स देर इज ए प्राइम लॉर्ड और क्रिएटर द लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा सो देर आर इन्यूमरेबल यूनिवर्सेस एंड देर आर इन्यूमरेबल लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा इन्यूमरेबल लॉर्ड सीबास एवरीथिंग इन्यूमरेबल सो जशय को निश्चित काल मथावलंब and this innumerable universes are coming out from the breathing of mahavishnu that mahavishnu is partial expansion of krishna just say ko nishchit kal mathav lamb jeevanti loom bilaja jagadanna natha vishnu mahan sahuye jasya kala vishesh kala visham so means kala an angsha angsha is directly and kala is angsha of the angsha there is so many things to understand the science of krishna therefore krishna says the jagatam api siddhyanam kosit vetimam tatva there are many siddhas we are not siddhas we are trying to be siddha manushanam sahasreshu kosit jatati siddha not all this life here the bhakti yoga is going on how to become siddha but who is interested in bombay there are millions of people but who is interested therefore krishna says manushanam sahasresh kaschit jatati siddha there are millions and millions of human beings but out of them one may be interested to become siddha and if one is siddha jatatam api siddhana and all those siddhas those are actually siddhas they are trying to understand krishna kosit out of them somebody may be knowing krishna therefore the krishna science is not so easy it's not so easy so that chaitanya mahaprabhu has advised jai krishna tatva vetta sei guru jai krishna tatva vetta any person who knows the science of krishna he is guru not others jai krishna tatva vetta sai guru ha ki ba sudra ki ba vipra nasikane na jai krishna tatva vetta sai guru ha when chaitanya mahaprabhu and ramananda ray was talking about spiritual realization so ramananda ray was from a sudra family and he was householder and governor of madras politician also so chaitanya mahaprabhu was asking question from him and this is chaitanya mahaprabhu's leela mukam karati bachal how is making sudra grihastha politician his guru chaitanya mahaprabhu So nobody can become Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's guru, but he was playing the part. He was questioning, and Ramananda Rai was replying. So just imagine how his position was exalted. So he was little hesitating when very intricate questions were put before him. He was quite able to answer. He was answering. So he was feeling little hesitation. said he was coming out of a very high brahmin family and the most learned personality and now he have taken sanyas the super most position in the human society sanyas is very respectable position still it is honored in india anyone who has sanyas he goes at least in the villages they offer respectful obeisances and gives all kinds of comforts is still now according to shastra it is said if a sanyasi is not offered respect or duly honored the punishment is the man should fast at least one day this is vedic system but there are many sanyasis taking advantage of this so we are not concerned neither chaitanya mahaprabhu was 
a false sannyasi, you are real sannyasi, and you are also real grihastha, Ramananda Das. So he was feeling little hesitation. To encourage him, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately said, No, no, why you are feeling hesitation? Why you are feeling inferior? You are guru. Huh? How I am guru? That Jai Krishna Tattavitta Sai Guru. Because to become a knower of Krishna is not ordinary position. Jatatama Vishidhyala Kaschit Bhitti Mahantatya. One who has known Krishna is not ordinary man. Jatatama Vishidhyana is above all the Siddhas. So why you are hesitating? You know Krishna Tattva, therefore I am asking from you. So this is the position. So this Krishna consciousness movement means that training the people who come to us to make him far, far above than the Siddhas. Far, far above than the Siddhas. And it is very easy. One can become one can hold this position of guru, which guru means who is above the siddhas. Krishna tattva. Jai Krishna tattva vitta sai guru. One cannot become guru unless he knows Krishna tattva. Not ordinary man. The yogis, the karmis, the jnanis, they cannot become guru. That is not sanction. Because even one is jnani, he has to Learn Krishna after many, many births, not in one life, but many, many lives. If he persists to understand what is the absolute truth by his jnana method, by speculative method, then still he'll have to change many, many births. Then one day he may be fortunate if he comes in contact with the devotee then it may be possible for him to understand Krishna. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Bahunam Janmanam Ante Gyanavan Mahanga Prabhadhyate. Who is Prabhadhyate? Who surrenders to Krishna? Unless one understands Krishna perfectly, why one should surrender? Krishna says, Sarva Dhanman Parittajya Mami Kang Saranang Vajra. Big, big scholars, this is too much. They say it is too much. Krishna is demanding, Mami kang saranang bhaja. This is too much. This is not too much. This is the real position. If he is actually advanced in knowledge, bhavanam janvanam hante, that is not attainable in one life. If he persists in knowledge, understanding of the absolute truth, huh? then after many, many births, when he is actually in knowledge, then he surrenders to Krishna. Vasudeva Sarvamiti. Sa Mahatma Sudhullah. That kind of Mahatma, you will find so many Mahatmas simply by changing the dress. Not that kind of Mahatma. Sa Mahatma Sudhullah. It is very difficult to find out such Mahatmas. But there are. If one is fortunate, he can meet such Mahatma and his life becomes successful. So Mahatma Siddhullah. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has made the thing very easy. Very, very easy. Therefore his name is Patit Pavan. Patit Pavan. Patit means fallen. And Pavan means purifier. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, therefore we follow. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We first of all sing a chant Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Adhaita Gadadha, Sri Vasadi Gavur Vakur. We beg mercy from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates. That is the way of worship in this age. He cannot approach Krishna, then it will be. If you try to approach Krishna, 
Actually, we are seeing that. The Bhagavad Gita is being read by so many scholars, so many theosophists and thieves, but they do not understand Krishna. You will find it practically. So many big, big scholars, so many men, they say, I read Bhagavad Gita thrice in a day and ask him about Krishna, he does not know anything. He will find it practically. He will be very proud of reading Bhagavad Gita. The politician, they take photograph, taking a Bhagavad Gita in his hand, but asking about Krishna, he does not know anything. Satkanda Ramayan Pore, Sitakar Baba. He has read all the Ramayan and he is asking, well, can you say me whose father is Sita? He does not know whether Sita is mother or father. So this is the position. Because he does not know who is Guru and how to learn Bhagavad Gita, therefore he is frustrated. Krishna says, Tadviddhi panipate na pariprasne na sivaya upadakshanti tad jnanam jnanina tattva darshan. Even Krishna, his friend of Arjun, still Arjun says, Shishasti ham sadhimam prapannam. Arjun says, Krishna, no more friendly talking. I agree to become your disciple. Now when he agreed, to become disciple of Krishna, then he explained Bhagavad Gita. Actually, one should not explain Bhagavad Gita or any Vedic Shastra unless one has agreed to become a disciple. But devotees are so kind that they preach even among the non-disciples just to take them to Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, according to law, one should not speak beyond the jurisdiction of his disciple, because they will not understand. They will not follow the rules and regulations. How they will understand? Say, Krishna says, jisāṁ tu antagatyaṁ pāpaṁ, one who is completely free from all kinds of sinful activities. That is the primary qualification to understand Krishna or understand Bhagavad-gītā. Jīsāṁ tu antakatam pāpam janānāṁ punna karmānāṁ te dhanna mahānin mukta bhajanti vāṅadi rabbhita. Unless one comes to this position, there is no possibility of Krishna consciousness. So how outsiders will accept? If the outsider is requested, sir, you do not smoke, very small thing, then Samiji is not very good. He is put so many restrictions. And if someone says, no, no, you can, you can drink, you can eat anything, it is not. And then he is very liberal. He is very liberal. So we are, first of all, putting this restriction. No illicit sex. No meat eating. No intoxication. No gambling. Intoxication are through drinking tea and smoking cigarettes. You have to give up. Anyone who comes to my, come my disciple, this is my first proposal. If you agree, then you come. It is not that you can do anything nonsense you like and you become my disciple. No. Because one cannot understand Krishna unless he is restricted from the sinful activities. And these are the basic principles of sinful activities. Illicit sex and meat-eating and gambling and intoxication. These are the four pillars of sinful life. And the whole world is addicted to these four things. So we have to push on Krishna consciousness with great difficulty. When I went to America, uh, I went by sea, so it stopped at the Commonwealth Pier in Boston. So I was thinking, that if I say that no illicit sex, no meat-eating, and no intoxication, and no gambling, so these people will immediately say, please go home. <laughs> yes, that is the position. Ah. These are their daily affairs. 
These are their daily affairs in Western countries. And if you want to make them stop these things, they will think that this man is lunatic. But by Krishna's grace, these boys, these girls, they agreed. That is Krishna's grace. I did not expect that they will agree. In India they do not agree, and they are accustomed from childhood, from boyhood. But Krishna's grace is so nice, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy is so great that they agreed, and they are pushing on this movement, on this principle. So why? This is due to the grace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Patit Pava. He can deliver the Jagai Madhai. And what is the process? The process is Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kevalam, Kalau Nastiva, 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 Vatinanaka. If people are simply induced to chant Hare Krishna Mantra, just see, even as child he is taking part. It is natural. There is no distinction between black and white, no question of language, nothing. You see practically. There is white child, black child, they do not know how to speak, but they are dancing and chanting. So this movement is so important. Somehow or other if you can engage them in chanting and dancing, the whole world will be united. What the United Nation has failed, this movement can do if it is not checked by the rascals. But the rascals are ready to check this movement. That is the difficulty. Otherwise, God, Krishna, is always ready to help us. How? Yet he said, Anta purusa rupena kala rupena jabohi. He is inside and outside. Ah, Antar, Antajyami, Chaitya Guru. He is acting as Chaitya Guru. Krishna is very much anxious because we are suffering and we are sons of Krishna. We are part and parcel of Krishna. He is unhappy to see that we are suffering. That is natural. If the son is suffering from ailments, the father also suffers. How the son will be cured? The son may not know it, but the father is suffering without having that ailment. Similarly, Krishna, he is the father of all living entities. Ahaṅga vīja pita Krishna says, it is not my word, but Krishna says, sarva jūnishi kāntya, all different forms of life, sambhavanti, ahaṅga vīja pita So Krishna is the father of everyone, and he is very much anxious for us to get us back. Therefore he is ordinary. You ask him, why you have created so many isms? Just surrender to me and I give you protection. Just surrender. Sarvadanman Parittaja Mamekam Saranangvat. For this purpose he comes. Jada Jadahi Dhanma Saglani Bhavati Bharat. Dhanma Glani discrepancies in the matter of religious principle, glani. What is that glani? The glani is forgetfulness of God. No God. I am God. You are God. This is glani. But this is going on as dharma. This is kali What is not dharma, that is going on as dharma. Dharma means to understand God. dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranita. What is dharma? Dharma means the laws and instruction given by God. But at the present moment, what is God? There is no God. Then where is Dharma? Where is Dharma? So there is no Dharma in the Kali Yuga. They are simply cheating. Therefore Bhagavad says, Dharma projita koita vatra, atra simad bhagavate, in the simad bhagavatam, the all cheating type of religious system is kicked out. What is that cheating type? There is no God. Then where is dharma? Hmm? Dharma means you become honest. But they do not know that nobody can become honest without Krishna consciousness. That is not possible. Rāma bhaktasya kuto mahadguna. 
Anyone who is devoid of God consciousness, he cannot be gentleman. Rāva bhaktasya kuto mahatūna. Jashyāsti bhakti bhagavati akhinchana. Sarvai gunai tatra samāsate sura. Rāva bhaktasya kuto mahatūna. This is the test. And Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Namāga duskita nam mūrā prapaddhante narādhama. Māyā purita jñāna. Asuri bhava masrita. So this is the test. Namang prapaddhante. Krishna says, who does not surrender to me? And there are these classes somewhere. What is that? Duskritina. Always engaged in sinful activities. Kriti means meritorious. But they are engaged in manufacturing atom bomb. Duskritina. Atom bomb means killing. But he discovers something by which man will not die. That they are dying, so he has discovered some instrument to die quickly. That that is duskriti. Merit, he has got merit, but misuse the merit. The death is there, he would have lived for, say, sixty years, and he drop atom bomb in ten years or twenty years, finished. He cannot increase the duration of life. Therefore, the so called scientific advancement. What is that? Duskriti. No benefit for the human society. The real problem is, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma Mithu Jarabhadhi, Dukha Dushanu Darsan. Our real miserable condition of life is birth, death, old age, and disease. The where is scientific help to mitigate these miseries? There is no stoppage of birth, there is no stoppage of death, there is no stoppage of disease. You can manufacture very good medicine for disease, but you stop disease. That is not So our so-called meritorious activities in scientific research and education, they have been described in the Bhagavad-gītā as duskriti, mischievous activities, duskriti. They are not actually beneficial, but they are mischievous. And why mischievous they are engaged? They are wasting their so much time in mischievous. Because mūrā, they do not know what is the purpose of life. They are mūrās. Namāṅ duskita nam mūrā prapaddhante narādhamā. They do not surrender to Krishna because they are narādhamā, lowest of the mankind. Why lowest of the mankind? Because this human life was given to him for understanding Krishna and he is wasting in other way. They are not Adhama. But they are so educated, university degree of Maya Purita Jnana. Their knowledge has no meaning. It is taken away by Maya because he does not understand Krishna. What is the use of such knowledge? Veda is to start by Yahameva Veda. Veda means knowledge. So if you actually advance his knowledge, you must know what is Krishna. But they do not know Krishna. Rather, they are defying Krishna. So this is going on. Therefore, this Krishna consciousness movement is very, very important. Those who are intelligent, they will take to it and make his life successful. Thank you very much.